Hi, I'm Anil Kumar. Today we are going to learn how to use pen tool. You can use keyboard P and you get pen tool or just press this icon so you will get pen tool. How this works? If you just click here, click here, click here and when you come back to the first point you get a small circle below the pen tool which means the clipping path is now completed and when you press control enter you see this is selected okay so when you just press like this you get a straight lines but when you press one point here and when you press another point but do not release the mouse button and you drag this anchor point down the path goes up when you move it up then path goes down so it is working reverse side when you put it up it goes down when you put it but when you put another point here so it moves back and if you put it here it will come back like this okay so how to use this kind of thing when we are going to learn how to make a clipping path on this earring then how we can do that first enlarge this much so that we can see the edges clearly then take pen tool we can start from anywhere we can start from here also so you just make another point here then here and drag down and don't make it this handle too big just a small and here a small handle and come back here then you can come here do not release just put it on the edge of this earring then now press alt and this is the center just touch here now the handle is cut now you can move this pen tool here and path is going smoothly now you can bring it here and when you just make this handle big then you can adjust this path on the edge put it just a little bit inside and now you have to press alt and then you can reduce this handle don't make this handle too big just like this and now make it small move it as per the shape of the earring if it is not in circle then give it a shape if it is circle then just go like this and make it under this one and then you can come here but once just remember that this handle should not go like this or like this just on the edge and you will see that path is coming on the edge so we are just moving towards the edge like this very simple now press alt and cut and then
the curve should be very clean. Jewelry is all about a straight line or curves. The curve should be very smooth and we can cut this nylon thread and then when you come back here you will see a small circle now this path is completed now you can start inside also and start inside then press control and you can move it here so if it is not correct position so you can press control and you can shift the anchor point The distance of the anchor point should not be too far or too close. If it is too far, then it will be difficult to put it, it on the edge. And if it is too short, then you will see the anchor points, too many anchor points nearby and it will look in your editing. So just a smooth clipping path, simple and you can cut this thread and we, we are here towards the end of this or to the, towards the beginning. So now this path is completed. Now what you have to do, just remember that this is not end of the exercise. Now when you come back to paths here, you see work path double click here you can save the path you can name it anything or you can give them image number also okay after completing the clipping path now what we can do that we can save as the clipping path just put an action extension and save here because my image size is very big, so I'm making this baseline and then OK. So now I'll open this again, same image, and this is our image. Now we can open. So what we see here now? Nothing. There is nothing here, but when we go to this path and touch this icon, the path comes back. Here, you can see the path now. And when you press Ctrl and Enter, this path is selected. So what we can do now, press Layers and now press Ctrl J. So we see that we have this cut out. This is on the transparent background. Now we can place any color background, any image, anything we can do. You can put white background to your white background like this so we can do anything okay so this is the way how to create a clipping path using pen tool okay thank you so much